What is going on guys, Miku Rides here, and I'm going to be ranking every single Hershey Park roller coaster before I've been to the park. So I'm going to Hershey Park on August 19th, so if you see me there, say hi. But I'm going to do a little video right here of me like predicting what my ranking is going to be like, then I'm going to do a follow-up video after. So yeah, speaking of follow-up videos, stay tuned for that, and subscribe to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded since the Top Thrill 2 video. I really just haven't been in the mood to make videos lately, because I was kind of bored and just really excited for Hershey. But I was like, hey, let me use my opportunity being really excited for hershey to make a video about it and yeah now that i'm making this i'm like more excited to make more videos so subscribe so you can see all those coming soon and like the video because why not and yeah enjoy the ranking coming in last we obviously have coco cruiser i mean it's the kitty coaster what else do i have to say not really much to it and i don't think i'm gonna be able to get the credit so i'm just gonna put it last and next up, we have Trailblazer. I mean, Trailblazer, I mean, it looks like an, it looks like an okay mine train. It doesn't look like anything spectacular. I mean, it's temporarily close. So I don't even know if I get to ride it. But, yeah. If it's open, I'll check it out. But I'm not sure if it's going to rank high. Next up, we have Laugh Track. I mean, it's just a Mauer spinner. I mean, like, they're not bad. But, like, I don't think it's going to be anything spectacular. I've done Steel Dragon at Waldemere. So, I'm sure it's going to be very similar to that. But, yeah. I don't think it's going to be anything great. But, we'll see. We'll see if it surprises me. At 11, I put Super Duper Looper. I mean, the only reason I put it here is because the loop looks like it pulls some decent forces just because it's like a regular circle, not an oval. But yeah, other than that, there's really, that's really the only reason I put it over Laugh Track. But let's see. I mean, I think it's gonna, I think it's just going to stay at number 11 for me. But I'm going to check it out and see. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how Wild Mouse made it this high. I mean, but I don't know. I like <laughs> I like hair concerns that are forceful. And honestly, I don't think stuff's going to bother me that much. Restraints don't really bother me. And I don't really mind jankiness or roughness that much. So I think I'm actually going to like Wild Mouse a bit. But these hair concerns, that look like, ugh, they look like I pulled some nice laterals. But we'll see if I like it more or worse. But I think I'm going to like it. Honestly, these next three spots seem like a complete toss-up to me. I could probably move these around like anywhere once I ride them. But I'm going to put Jolly Rancher Remix here just because it's Vekoma Boomerang. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have anything against Vekoma Boomerangs. I think I'm going to really like going backwards through the loop. Because like, that just seems fun to me because I like forces. But I'm not sure. I don't want to like rank this thing too high because, again, it is a Vekoma Boomerang. But we'll see once I ride it. And, yeah, I, I mean, the flavor tone seems like kind of a gimmick to me. But we'll see. And I think I'm gonna like this one. All right, I'm gonna put Combat number eight, just because I mean I'm a I'm a really really big fan of old wooden coasters, and I think they're just like if it's the jankier it is, the more fun it's probably gonna be for me. So yeah, I think I'm gonna really like Comet. I'm gonna put it here. Layout doesn't like anything too spectacular, but looks like it gives some good airtime. But we'll see. And yeah, like this could fall down, this could go up a spot. I don't really know. We'll, we'll find out. But I think it looks like it looks. Ugh. I think it looks like a fun ride. Coming in at number seven, we have Lightning Racer. And if my voice sounds a little different, it's because I recorded, like, I did most of this video, like, really early in the morning, so I was pretty tired. So now I'm kind of more awake and making the rest of this video. So if I sound different for the rest of it, that's why. But Lightning Racer kind of looks like, like, it's like the, like, the borderline between, like, the good rides and the good rides. And I think that Lightning Racer looks like, like, the last of, like, the good or okay ones. But it looks, it looks pretty nice. I mean, sometimes it looks like it crawls, and other times it looks like it hauls. So, we'll go from, I'm just gonna get both credits and go from there and see what I think of it. Coming in at number six is Candemonium. And this might be a controversial pick. I don't really know, but I don't really care. Because this looks like a mid-tier being a hyper to me. And I could probably change on these next three spots. I don't know. But I don't think Candy's really gonna be, like, that crazy. I mean, it looks, it looks, it looks, I'm not gonna say it's a bad ride. It looks like a really good ride. Like, these last six spots are elite. But, like, I mean, right here. That shows every, like, I mean, like, that trim does not need to be that long. And I feel like it crawls over, like, this speed hill right here, like, doesn't even look like a speed hill. It looks like a, like, just a regular airtime hill, but, like, lower to the ground. So, I don't think it looks like, I'm not trying to hate on it. Like, like I am, in a sense, because, like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, and then, like, I'm just gonna end off with this. Yeah, that's all you really need to know. Number five is Fahrenheit, and the reason I'm putting Fahrenheit over Candemonium is because it's unique. Like, you really don't see many rides like Fahrenheit out there. It's been a vertical lift with tons of inversions, pretty compact layout. The inversions look pretty good, and the trains, I don't hate these trains as much as I know a lot of people do, but yeah, I think it looks like it has some good inversions. It has like one or two good airtime moments in there, so yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one. Number four is Great Bear, and... I think that people hate on this one a little too much, but honestly, I'm not, like, I can't really say because I haven't wrote it yet, but I think that it looks like it really could be in a hyper, 
and not hyper invert <laughs> and um i think that drop is pretty unique like not many inverts have that kind of drop the like the inversions look punchy and forceful as usual looks pretty whippy so yeah i think people are sleeping on great bear but i don't really know because i haven't wrote it but i think it definitely is better than fahrenheit and candemonium at number three i'm putting storm runner and i'm really really gonna like storm runner i don't even like think i'm not even gonna say i think i'm gonna like storm runner i know i'm gonna like storm runner because dragster was my number two at cedar point before it got removed and this has the same exact launch system as dragster really punchy launch great layout after that twisted snake dive looks awesome but yeah i'm really, really yeah, i'm gonna really really like storm runner and i can't wait to get on it now number two is wildcat's revenge and i know a lot of people are gonna put this to number one over sky rush but you know i think that it's for me i can't say yet but i'm gonna say that i think it's recency bias like wildcat's revenge looks awesome like it that underflip looks great the airtime will act the underflip looks great all the off axis airtime look, looks awesome stall looks great like I think everything about this red looks looks fantastic but i don't think it quite is better than the number one spot i'm sure you guys guessed it number one is sky rush and sky rush just looks like an absolute monster of a ride. I'm not saying Wildcat's Revenge doesn't. Like, these two, like, it could swap, but I'm pretty sure I'm Sky gonna be Sky Rush number one because, like, it just looks so intense. Like, the first drop, like, just looks ridiculous with, like, the kink in it. So it's, like, two drops in one. And then you just go into an insane, like, bone crushing positives turn. And it's just ejector airtime all over the place. So, yeah, Sky Rush looks like just an absolute beast of a ride and something that I'm, like, insanely enjoy. But, yeah. Please tell me what you guys thought of the ranking in the comments and subscribe so you can be like ready for when I drop my actual ranking in Percy Park. So yeah, stay tuned for that and you see you guys in the next one. Peace.